Hi, uh, I'm Noor. I'm a PhD student uh, at the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology, University of Connecticut, United States. Hi, uh, why did you choose to be a PhD student rather than going for a job? Huh. So initially, uh, I wasn't ready for a PhD. Uh, I took a break after my master's. I work as a research uh, scholar in India. And at that time, I realized that I wanted to know more. I wanted to explore more. I got more and more curious uh, while starting different projects. That's when I realized that I can design my own experiments and try to explore more um, ex areas which are not explored yet. So I guess that's how I got into a PhD. So your studies brought you from uh, India to USA. So why did you choose to come to USA and not complete your PhD at your home? It was a tough call, uh, but uh, even my department uh, and the research opportunities, I thought United States would be the best opportunity for me to do more um, research and to explore more in my areas because United States have more uh, funding available in agriculture and plant sciences. They have better infrastructure and um, I could design my own experiments. So that's why I decided to go to the United States. Oh, great. So um, talking about the challenges I faced or I am still facing during my PhD, one would be obvious as an international student. Um, I was uh, homesick 24-7 in the beginning. I was far from my family. Um, and it was the uh, first time I was in a totally different country, miles up, apart. Um, and then in being an international student, basically you are on your own. There's nobody you can really depend on. So you have to manage everything by yourself. And as a PhD student, uh, you have to work to support your PhD or to fund your PhD and then you have to do your research work also. So sometimes it's difficult to maintain a work-life balance. Oh, well, you told us about all these challenges. Given all these challenges, what keeps you motivated to be a good PhD student? I'd say uh, these keeps me motivated. So I started as a... Uh, genetics student or a plant breeder. Uh, I was looking for some different things, trying to improve the cereal crop like rice and maize. But when I moved to United States, I got curious about the nature. I was like, uh, leave the cereal crops like that. Let's start with the basics. So when you roam around, you see tons of different kinds of leaf shapes. And that's how I got to design my new PhD experiment, my thesis, which is why plants have different leaf shapes, what are the things which control different leaf shapes. And for the past few years, I've been working on these uh, experiments, trying to explore more, trying to uh, dissect the genetics behind it. So I'd say, yeah, nature keeps me motivated. Okay, so with all your experience, you've uh, learned a lot. So for a fellow PhD student, if you have to give a piece of advice, what would that be? I'd say uh, don't stress too much about your work. Uh, have a stroll in nature, look around. There are so many things we still need to explore. There are so many unknown questions we need an answer for. And uh, try to maintain a work-life balance. I know it's difficult with research and teaching jobs and all, but the more you are calm and the more you take time for yourself, I think it reflects on your research. It reflects on everything you do. Be more calm take walks in nature, spend time with your family, uh, because at the end, family is everything. Thank you.